I have uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, the type of that that I have is connected to a traumatic event. So how that works is, say you were in a horrific car accident, for example, and the images from the accident were burned into your brain and they cause you anxiety. You go to commit a simple everyday activity like going down a flight of stairs. You get down and those images, they cause you anxiety, so you irrationally think if you go back to the top of the flight of stairs, put new images in your brain and go down again, everything will be okay. And if you don't do that, something horrible could happen. Now, is that irrational? Yep, but that is how it works. <laughs> so one of the everyday activities I have a tough time with is going in and out of doorways. And good news, those are in all of the places. <laughs> you a human, doors forever. <laughs> so I was trying to go into one of those sliding grocery store doors, and I was going in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in and out, just trying to get it right, you know, so I can keep my Uncle Craig alive. <laughs> Remember, I came out for the 12th time, and I had this tough moment. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if it gets much worse than this. And then uh, I looked up, and in front of me on the curb, there was an El Camino, and in that El Camino, there was a man, and that man said these words. Hey, buddy, what the fuck is the color of the sky in your world? You fucking retard. And he just peeled out. So first things first, it can get worse. You can be at an all-time low moment and then get street shouted by some dumb hillbilly villain. But secondly, I was so broken by that new moment, I was like, God, no, that I didn't even think about it. I just walked in the store and started shopping. And it wasn't until I was a couple aisles in that I was like, wait a second, I am in here. Did that guy just fix me? Maybe he's not a dumb hillbilly villain. Maybe he's a magical hillbilly therapist. Just ripping around town in his El Camino, finding people at their all-time lowest moments, shouting shit that's so mean they have no excuse except to bottom out and improve just a little bit. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, what are you, crying on a park bench all by yourself and you have no idea why you're doing it? You fucking soppy foofcake. <laughs> Buddy. Hey, what are you, slipping in and out of different personalities and now them personalities have declared war on one another? Ha ha ha, you fucking queef of a human being. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What are you, supplementing memories from your childhood that are based upon your relationship with your father that two decades of cognitive behavioral therapy attempted to fix? And even though you thought you had those memories repressed, they're now sneaking up through your subconsciousness into the foreground of your consciousness, forcing you to face the fact that you may indeed one day become the one man you've spent the better part of 30 years hating? You fucking retard. That, that guy would have made the best Dukes of Hazard character of all time. <laughs> Just fixing your brain the only way he knows how. <laughs> Shouting mean shit and then squealing out. <laughs> Boy, if Bo and Luke Duke didn't find themselves in a world of trouble this time. <laughs> now, Bo here had disassociative personality disorder. And Luke, well, Luke had been mighty depressed since his girlfriend broke his heart. But have no fear, y'all. The El Camino therapist has arrived. <laughs> hey, you two flannel shirt-wearing freak shows. Why don't you just douse your dinglings in each other's tears and get it over with? You fucking brother-loving, froggy-leaping, car-jumping fucking... <laughs>